Gurkha soldiers in Camp Bastion have held a series of celebrations to mark an important Hindu festival. Despite the heavy tempo of operations, they were given time out to enjoy the biggest social and religious event in the Nepalese calendar. Ali Gibson was there. Giving thanks and preparing themselves for the months ahead. The commanding officer of the Queen's Gurkha Engineers has taken an active role this year in the celebrations for design out in theatre. The tenth day of the festival is Tika, a red marking given on the forehead as a blessing, along with a bunch of barley which has been sown here in Afghanistan on the first day of the festival, giving these Gurkhas good luck and prosperity throughout the rest of the year. The evening before, Camp Bastion became a mini Nepal as Gurkhas gathered to mark days eight and nine of the festival with a feast and cultural show. It is a very, very uh, important uh, festival and uh, within the Brigade of Gurkhas it plays a very, very vital role. If it keeps us our strength within the Brigade of Gurkhas and it also connects all the Gurkhas in one place. For these Gurkhas, design is like our Christmas, New Year and Easter rolled into one. A series of celebrations and religious ceremonies held to mark the triumph of Durga, the Hindu goddess of power over evil. Traditionally, it's a time for families to get together in Nepal, and that community spirit has been recreated here. As I am now, um, they are also missing their family. They are on their own here. So all we have here is uh, each other, to look, look after each other and celebrate each other, look after each other's back and go back home safe. Currently, one third of the brigade of the Gurkhas are serving in Afghanistan. The Gurkha boys out here with me, they all come from the Queen's Gurkha Engineers, and as part of the AD Search Task Force, they carry on with their everyday business. So, be it working closely, hand in glove, with the Afghan National Security Force, developing their counter ID capability, through to providing protection for our force elements deployed forward on the ground from the threat of IEDs. This event was also a chance to bring the EOD Search and Task Force together as a whole and an opportunity to learn some new dance moves. Ali Gibson, Forces News, Camp Bastion.